everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome back to some more Enshrouded, specifically for the Hollowed Halls updates. We'll get to that in a second, but before we go too far, I should say a quick thank you to Keen Games for reaching out and sponsoring this video. So if you've only caught my videos for this, uh, it might look a little fancy. It's because I've been streaming this over, well, actually just on the live tab of this YouTube channel. So if you actually want to see how I got here and why I'm dressed so fancy compared to my last video, I've been playing this with my friends and the VODs are still around. Uh, and that'll actually show off the multiplayer. So if you want to see what Intrated looks like with some buddies, uh, that's there. But anyway, what is in the Hollow Halls update? A new dungeon, which we're going to fly over and try and attempt to clear. Unfortunately, it is generally meant to be cleared with people, uh, but you can clear it solo. So uh, we're going to take a crack at it and we'll see what happens. I'm off by a little bit. It's somewhere over here. That's all I know. It's kind of a... Uh-oh. Of course, correct. It's over this direction here. You know what? Let's start from the top of this hill. It'll be easier. Uh, but so it's a new challenging dungeon. It's got uh, harder enemies, a new survivor. So one of the crafting NPCs and new crafting structures to build using it, uh, using them. And then also added a whole lot of building stuff, which we're going to be looking at. And then there's also been a lot of quality of life improvements and bug fixes and whatnot. So I think we're looking at... It could be down there, but I see a hole in the mountain. So it's either down in this mix. I don't know. It could actually be... It could be in this hole. I've never been down here, so I'm, I'm not actually sure. My friends cleared this without me. Uh, Looks like, no, it's just a lower unshrouded area. So I'm unfortunately going to have to just wander around and look for things until I can actually find my way into the hollowed halls. Which I mean, is kind of the appeal of Enshrouded in general. It is very much a dungeon crawler adventure, open world survival sandbox RPG. It does a lot of things that survival sandbox games do, but it's got a really lovely hand designed world with a ton of cool set pieces to explore. I know I sound like I'm probably gushing about this maybe a little bit. Uh, too much, but I really, truly did enjoy playing the heck out of this with my friends. So we have this here. So it's either underneath this thing or it's in that hole in the wall. Let's try this first. Okay, and I might as well very quickly use one of these so I can actually see what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure this isn't actually it. It says location above. I'm just wondering if there's a secret entrance down this direction, seeing as none of my friends or I have been in here. Nope. Looks like it was just for this. Metal Star Mace. <laughs> yeah, that was that would have been relevant like a long time ago, so it's not here. Unless there's some secret entrance that I do not know about, it's got to be on the other side. Uh, so I might as well also explain what I'm wearing and what build I am, uh, if you're unfamiliar. There's a bunch of different builds that you can kind of pursue. Uh, so some like stealth archery, archery, archery. Uh, kind of your standard like rogue assassin builds. Uh, there's a couple of different types of melee builds. So like more of just a, a DPS, a tank. Um, I think there's like kind of, oh yeah, there's a berserker build too. Really, I guess I might as well uh, show off the skill tree. It's pretty huge, but yeah, survivor. Beastmaster isn't really a thing yet. Ranger, Assassin, Trickster, Wizard, Healer, Battle Mage, Tank, Warrior, Barbarian, Athlete. So some some of these don't really have like gear sets associated with them. And like for the end tier wizard gear sets, there's like a warlock set that doesn't have like a talent tree associated with it. Not that they're actually tied together, it's just kind of where you're building. Um, but so I'm wearing a mixture of healer outfit, uh, the healer tunic, uh, robes. And then Archmage, everything else. Specifically to give myself a pretty hefty regen. And oh, this looks like it. Probably should have checked this first, but hey, it's fine. We made it there. Uh, but so I have a very, a fairly fast, fast healing and also the ability to damage enemies nearby. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in here? Can I, can I go in? I can. Red Marble Fragment. Ooh. Okay. I've not been here. I haven't even looked at the trailers because I don't like spoilers. 
New mysteries unfold. A new mystery. A new mystery unfolds. There are more legends. Wait, they are more than legends after all. The hollow halls exist, and inside them echo the melodies of a bygone age. Memories of a time when sky, clear skies reigned. The shroud was still slumbering below. These halls of unknown origin have existed for millennia, but their architecture differs from that of the ancients. Most curious. It's said that these crypts served as a banishment grounds for the lowest in society. I wonder if the cursed inhabitants still walk the earthly plane. All right. I'll have to... This might take a couple of trips. I'm going to loot everything that I possibly can. So it looks like we got a bunch of Zambonis here. Well, I got a couple of different things. Let's see. What do we think they're weak to? Ice? No. Sort of. Let's just do some lightning for a moment. Wait, they're only level 10. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, so they're resistant to electricity. They seem to resist frost as well. So unfortunately, I think I need fire. And that's the one element I currently don't have. My last fire wand was extremely out of date. And not that great. Alright, uh, let's see, do we just warp up this or warp down? I'm assuming it's a go down situation more than a go up. I should probably also eat food. Okay, so what's the dealio with this? Nothing in here. Sometimes these have like lootables that are kind of good. Sometimes it's just bones, but like this, for example, has a healing potion. Eh, it's fine. Alright, uh, it's backpack. Oh, all my food is just here. I think I only have a couple of food slots though, so... Which do I want? Meat Rat gives me extra HP and some intelligence. That gives me regen. That gives me more regen. I think I'm going to do everything but the yucca fruit for the time being. Okay, so this should make me reasonably be beef chonky. Switch to the eternal fireball. We do also have acid spray, which I know wrecks things, even if said things are uh, resistant to it. I don't know if I actually need to loot all of this, in retrospect. Oh! What? What is the AoE on this spell? I just made, like, half of this stuff, uh, because my friends and I have taken a bit of a break, uh, from Enshrouded while waiting for, well, updates like this one. And so we wanted to give ourselves some time to let the game cook and add new things and, and you know, Get broader and deeper as an experience. I heal 43 per tick, which is pretty good. Let's see, do we have anything else? Let's see a rune that I think I need to destroy. Maybe a fireball will do it? No. Oh, do I oh I just touch it. Sorry, I'm so used to just breaking these things. Okay, does it say how many runes I need? No. But it looks like there's an upper area that I can get to with other ones. I like the fact that the dungeons are slightly puzzly. Uh, I guess I've talked about this a little bit. Well, I don't know. It's... <laughs> uh, it actually feels like I'm on a proper dungeon crawl here. Which is... You just do Acid Bite. Here's the question. Where'd they all go? Why'd they go there? Okay, so we've got a door here. Looks like this just opens automatically. Couple of Necro Dancers. I see. That's how it is. Okay. Don't cast that fast enough, but that's fine. I was hoping the acid bite would wreck shop a little bit more than it did. It's fine. This is why I have my healing gear on. That dog just decided to give up on existence. Okay. Let's just do fireball. Acid bite takes too long. So do we have anything else in here? Well, we've got a tablet. To my fellow flamekeeper, I'm the reflection upon a slow river's surface that beckons you forth. 
unknowable yet familiar, alike yet different, an alluring call from the depths. You've enough spirit left in you to parse my words, unblinded by wrath. What enticing mystery. Why don't you come enlighten me, my friend? Find me beneath the mirror and dive into the deep. Bring me forth towards the horizon, the light, the breeze. You shan't regret it, your new friend. Interesting. Skull summoning vessel. Huh. Mid-range weapon. That's a new one. Yeah, one thing I definitely th think this game would benefit from... Oh, I didn't actually loot it. Uh, it would be actually a minion mastery build. It would probably break the game in half in certain ways, but... Eh, eh, whatever. I don't know. I just... Seeing that massive talent tree and everything just makes me want something kind of... Uh, you know, vaguely on par with Path of Exile's level of customization. And, like, character building and equipment and whatnot. Where am I? And where am I going? I think nowhere. I might be able to mine sections of this out. Oh, is that the point? Is this where I get uh, red quartz from? Yeah. No. It is not. Okay. So unless I decide to, like, really go mining here, I mean, we have a couple of options. Whee! I, there, yeah, there doesn't seem to be much of anything here. I could destroy some of this, but it seems like it's kind of just rubble. Sometimes they like to hide secrets. They really like to hide secrets everywhere. I'm 100% going to miss, like, several big ones over the course of this. But, I don't know. There's only so much I can do about it. So I know my fireballs have, like, massive range. Or AoE. So I might as well just be using them non-stop. First, my mana regen, or... Hurts my mana quanti quantities, but I get that back real quick. So if I see a group of enemies, I'm just shelling them from afar. I'm a wizard. I'm supposed to be artillery. I say that, but it is time to run. There we go. It seems like some of the AoE is a little bit on the limited side. Alright. Uh, oh. Dog's still alive. Even if my... What? I must have... It must have just gone by him. Okay. What do we... Ooh, what is this? Ectoplasm materials. I guess I'm just going to start taking all. I don't know what ectoplasm materials are useful for, but presumably it's useful. I don't know if it's a new resource or if it's one that I just, like, somehow managed to avoid this entire time. Unsure. Doesn't matter. Hmm. The problem is, I think I'm destroying a considerable portion of the room more than my enemies with half of these fireballs. That's probably where all the big numbers are coming from. They changed the looting system so it doesn't stun you as much. It's just like a little pop-up at the bottom. I like that. Still kind of wish it was an AoE loot. Something that would just, like, pull in everything in the area. Supposedly, there's also a performance update on this, but my beefy rig, I don't think, is really noticed. Oh, good. Repairs. That was actually one of my concerns with going into this dungeon, because, um... It actually seems... I mean, it's the biggest dungeon I've seen in the game so far. I haven't done the, like, final couple dungeons available in Early Access. And... I don't know if I necessarily will... It's one of those where I don't want to, like, fully burn out on a game, but when they kindly reached out and said, like, hey, you want to do a video on the new update? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? Very much holding much of my enthusiasm for when this game comes out in 1.0, but I can spoil myself a bit. It 
This would be a lot harder if it was level 25. I can see why they said, like, bring friends. Unfortunately, it means we're not going to be getting a good fire wand in here, probably. My chances of getting actually meaningful, useful gear for my current character, pretty slim to none. At your fingertips, we are so very deep, my friend. Perhaps you feel as I do. Boundless power, endless life. An eternal light, simmering in silence, sealed away in spires and sanctuaries. What good can it do there, I ask you? It was aching to be shared. Why don't we reach out together, fellow flamekeeper? The depths are calling. Come closer and take my hand. I will pull you in. Your new friend. Creepy. Okay, is this just another one of the kind of like dead mass areas? It is. But this is where you mine ectoplasm fragments. Apart from like fighting enemies. And bones are kind of useful too. I really do not know how much of this I need, but I'm going to preemptively grab a bunch of it. Because one of the other features, I, as I mentioned earlier, one of the other things that was added as part of this update is the ability to, uh, or, well, I mean, it's always had the ability to make houses, um, but that there's more base building updates. I want to see if I can make a ghost house out of bones and ectoplasm. Because what screams wizard more than ghost house? I mean a tower, so we could do like a ghost tower. Oh, my potion's off. I do hope they add like... Ooh. I don't want to say like endless potions at a later date. But something that lasts like ten times longer or something. Or even persists past death. I don't know. Because I've got a bunch of uh, persistent spells that don't use charges anymore. Uh, it just uses mana, which is very nice. But I would love to do that same thing with potions. Alright. I think that's all the ectoplasm, unless there's a secret hiding in here. And, frankly, uh, because of the level disparity, uh, or level disparity, because of such a high, or how high of a level I am, I'm not really sure if I benefit too greatly. What's up, dude? You better run. <laughs> Oh, barrier unlocked. I didn't even know there was a barrier. I was just here. I'm a little disappointed. I have a damage aura uh, that, that damages gloom enemies or shroud enemies. Does not damage the undead. I was really hoping it would cook them too, but well, that's, that's a creepy pit. We'll check out the area first before I go in. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in here, but you never know. That is a very pretty stained glass. I... I hope, I hope we get to make things with this. In fact, can I, can I destroy this? I can't really. I mean, I'm doing damage to it, you can tell. I'm kind of shocked I can... What the heck happened? I don't think I was supposed to do that. Was my fault. Hello. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, what have I done? Hi. <laughs> Hello. I didn't mean to be here. Bye. I have the uh, best glider in the game, which is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Like, incredibly good for getting around. Very bad for just dungeon mobility, it turns out. Oh, that looks eer eerie, unsettling, and probably hazardous to my health down there. Let's maybe not go there. They are resisting fire. I'll have to look into that. Is there anything down here? Not sure. Yes, there is. It says threats nearby. I'm pretty sure it's the ooky spooky uh, goop below me. If the shroud's been any indication, going down and touching that stuff is almost always instant death. Might not be in this case, but I am not trusting it. Either way, it does look like there is actually some some level of upper 
a upper path here? I don't know if I can get to it though. Well, clearly I was kind of supposed to. I just don't see... I don't see a grappling tether point. I see bats. Yeah, I guess that is one option. I've got the updraft ability as well. Gives me a boost. I think what I'm supposed to do is actually jump and glide from over there. And I'm just doing it backwards. I'm pretty sure this is even like a ladder. Or not a ladder, an elevator. Okay. Got another one here. I'm not seeing anything fancy. So I guess let's go up next. I remember if there's higher tier grappling hooks. That's something I should look into at some point. I don't think there are. I think once you have the grappling hook, you're you're golden. Okay, barriers up. Aw. Let's see, no secret treasure chests. It might be one of those that I have to wait until kind of the end of this, or I'm just completely blind and I've missed every cool bit of loot so far. There are these. It's got ectoplasm in it. But yeah, unless there's, unless there's a secretive treasure chamber that is just outside of my reach, or eyeballs, I guess the one thing I can do is, like, destroy these. Sometimes they have goodies in them. Yeah, I'm not seeing much of anything, so we... I love how effective that glider is. And we're, we're still not done yet. This is massive. Oh, hey, good. Repairs. My food's still going. I think I've lost my... Light potion. I guess I could put that on my hotbar if I wanted to. Let's check this area quickly. Because it seems it's not a dead end. Fireball, level one. Hmm, useful. Right, let's let's go the other way. Cause whatever's on the other side of this door might be good. Ah, holy smokes, that was a lot of my shins. Well, you know what they say about learning lessons. You don't. I should check if I have the quick fireball. I think I don't have quick staff charge on, but maybe I do? Hard to tell. It feels slow to me. I had goofed up my, my build the last time I played. No. Quick staff charge. Oh, maybe this... No. I don't remember if staves change how fast you charge. Maybe it's, I mean, it has been a couple of weeks since I last played, so it's, it could just be messing with me. It's so satisfying. Just see a room nuked to death. I used to play, oh, what was it? Temple of Elemental Evil in, uh, it was a CRPG uh, back in the day. I think it was kind of like after Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, kind of that era. So where the heck am I? Okay, let, let's go back to that weird foggy sarcophagus. I was expecting this to just be one big kind of loop situation, but it is so much more. But so Temple of Elemental Evil, Snake Spine Wand. It's useless to me. It's too low of a level. Mana regen, ice damage, more damage against hollow. I was hoping it would add like a poison effect or something. Not that this game desperately needs status effects. 
in any real capacity, but it would be kind of satisfying to be able to... Uh, I don't know, poison things, and then run away. Come hither, you've made it far. I was right to play, place trust in you, my benefactor. Why remain bound by earthly chains? The red string of fate is tied around your neck and wrists, cutting into your flesh. You are torn apart by hooks of destiny, anchored between your ribs. Free yourself, find me in the sea of souls, and escape with me. Reach out. Just a little further now, let's ascend together. You know who wrote this. This is, um... <laughs> it's actually giving me vibes to my, uh... A tabletop RPG adventure. I'm... Okay, I don't think I can get through this door. How many bombs does it take? Nope. It doesn't even take damage. Okay. I'll have to go back and check that other path. Maybe. Let's take a peek on what, uh, what's on the other side of this door. Because this seems kind of like the end. I say that. It's still freaking huge, man. Okay, that still looks like the end. What's in here? Wait, where? Which of these is the right direction? Oh, this is how we get back. Unless there's like a sneaky secret route, but I think this is if I fall off, so let's not go that direction. I won't deny I'm extremely curious about what's on the other side of this door, but I have no way of getting through there, so... Guess we aren't finding out. And I see a Shambly Zamboni. Ah, uh, with the rune above its head. I love the fact that you can backstab with a fireball. I can also get backstabbed by undead myself. Okay. Uh, anyway, so for Temple of Elemental Evil, it had really satisfying fireballs. You'd... Whoop. Okay. This has become officially too spicy for me. God, I love being a wizard. As a kid, I was always like the warrior tank. Because uh, I had a younger brother and I loved the idea of being kind of the warrior tank. Older brother and letting my brother do caster stuff. What I've discovered is, boy, I like being a wizard. I should have never, ever let him uh, take that role for himself. Oh, you look special enough. Oh no, he's just got a weapon. I think I'm just supposed to be here for a while. And this is why I was really hoping my damage aura would uh, would work in here. But you know what does work incredibly well? Oh, is it endless? Nope. What? Oh. Boy, those dogs just escaped my notice. Okay, let's just nuke these guys. Okay, uh, gosh, I have, like, too many concurrent sort of stories going on simultaneously. Uh, but yeah, so I always liked being the, the, the warrior brother so my brother could be a wizard. I don't actually even know his opinion on this. It just kind of fell in that way. Uh, I want to say it's because we played Gauntlet together and I was playing as the knight and he was playing as the, the wizard. Blue wizard. I think we were both blue. Because we would both, like, randomly say, Blue Wizard is about to die at each other. Uh, or... I think it was only Blue Wizard. I didn't die nearly as much as he did, I think. I think it would be, uh, Blue... Blue Knight needs food badly. That was the one, uh, that we would say endlessly about me. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, Wizards are cool, man. Anyway, back to... Uh, jeez. Temple, uh, Temple of Elemental Evil, it was just, it was one of those kind of, I want to say Gygaxian balanced RPGs, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe, oh, oh, I see, each of these doors opens, 
and introduces a new wave of bad boys. I am so glad I have double jump too. Okay, and hold up. <laughs> when life gives you platforms. The only immediate problem is that, ooh, that's bad. I may be incredibly strong in a lot of circumstances. This, on the other hand, uh, or falling damage, on the other hand, can't do much about. Okay. I don't know what they take more or less damage from. That seemed to have done done the trick. Uh, but yeah, so Temple of Elemental Evil, fireballs were incredibly lethal against pretty much anything, including your own party members. So more often, uh, what I kind of would do is just send the Rogan uh, to investigate because he had evasion and a high dexterity. Um, more or less, like, before the enemies even spotted him, I would then proceed to fireball the entire arena, uh, wiping everybody out and sometimes my own rogue. It was costly, but it saves uh, on medical bills for everybody else. That poor rogue, though. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna... Oh, barriers unlocked. That took a little bit. I can see why they said bring friends. But I can also safely say that I didn't need them for this. And whenever this does... Uh, or... Whoop. Whoa. Okay. Hey, there's mobility options around here. Whenever this come, or comes out, whenever me and my friends decide to come back to this, uh, it is going to be a very silly romp. <laughs> And or race to the finish. Probably that. I mean, we'll all get stuck here. That's... That's inevitable. Rude, sir. But I can safely say my decision to be a heal tank worked out. I look forward to this coming out in 1.0. I would love to see more, like, hybrid builds that work well together. So specifically... Uh, you know, going heavy armor, but then healing. I thought the door was open. I guess the door is open just with enough room for these guys. Okay, I think they take more damage from lightning. Luckily, whenever I crit with a wand, it uh, does chain lightning to enemies, doing like an extra 30 damage. Ish. I, I very much am keyed for dealing with large groups of weak enemies. And I can hold my own against, like, a beefier dude. Because up to this point, I think for pretty much the entire playthrough multiplayer, uh, I was the tank. Ooh, Hollow Hall's block. I was right to come here first. I think this is where we get all the uh, the fancy building recip recipes. If I want to use hollow halls. Oh. Otherwise, they might only just give me hollow halls. I was hoping it would give me, like, a small variety. Like ectoplasm. Look, man, I just want a ghost house. Don't judge me. Looks like some of these guys didn't get the memo. If it's more hollowed halls blocks, it is. Eh, whatever, we'll just go get the last set just because. Ah, unfortunately, my character is not rested. We had that earlier, which was giving us the... <laughs> Ow! I am going to die just by sending my face into a ceiling or something. Actually, it looks like there's an area up there, but I have no idea how I'd even get there. 
At least we heal right back up again in like no time flat. Okay, so what do we got? Are we still going? No, this looks like the end. Alden Crowley, the Collector. Creepy. Well, do we have anything else in here? Big Skull. I don't actually know if I know of a single enemy with a head that big in this game. That isn't, like, inhuman. Oh, no, I guess there's a little bit. And we get the Silver Shot Bow, which is... Would have been really good had I gotten it a long time ago. Well, I think we're good. I don't know. Not really much of a reason for me to loot the rest of this place because uh, I've got it myself. All right, and we're back to the hollowed halls. So unless there's more in here that I've missed. Explore the hollowed halls. Yeah, place them in your home. So I think... I'm just gonna warp home. Well, home. So here's the here's the problem. Uh, let's go home for a moment. Cause this video ain't done yet. We've cleared the hollowed halls. Uh but yeah, this is my house. We start in the dirt basement. Uh, we kind of stole this house. It's a pre-existing inn that we found that was a pretty nice set piece. Unfortunately for me, us, uh, me and my friends, we've kind of stuffed it full of crafting everything so like here's the nice kind of entryway oh it's chess there's barely enough room for the carpenter the tables literally have a tannery on them we left this one mostly alone but we slapped some chests on the end and a crafting table on the other let's actually repair my stuff while i'm here suffice to say uh our house is kind of a sty and that that sucks that's the end I don't need that in the moment. Ready summoning staff. I'm still going to summon Alden Crowley the Collector. Just see what they have to say. Uh, I'll just put him here. Ah, fresh air fills my tired lungs. I greet thee, new friend. I'm a fairy man, a keeper of souls, a guide in the night. How lucky for you, aimless one. I will light your path. I'm free at last, thanks to you, my friend. All names are fleeting. Just the sound, just sound and smoke. I've as many as an hourglass, has grains of sand. To you I will be Alden. I'm the light that beckons downstream, a fading star beneath the north winds, a collector and a breaker of earthly chains. I shall part the veil for you once you're ready. The toll is little, I promise you, friend. Skulls of our enemies. Okay. So, he wants skulls. The, the problem is, these are quests that I should have been doing, like, one by one over the levels, but because I'm an in character meeting a mid game NPC, whoops, I've got a lot of quests. So I could keep talking to him, but a lot of these are just like go get me stuff. Uh, curse, the shroud, and one eyed beasts. Yeah, so he's gonna give us some random stuff, but opens doors in the Revelwood hollowed halls. Oh, we just did the first one. There's more. <laughs> okay, several unique. Large dungeons, one for every biome. Uh, so we also have the summoning vessels, so I can make uh, ghost summoning. We have ectoplasm gems. Uh, we also have bone channel. Projectiles that seek out enemies, that's kind of cool. My only immediate problem with it, well, I mean, I can make 200 charges, so that's fine. Uh, I was kind of hoping I could get some like gear, because it seems like he might be a bit more summoning focused. But alas, it looks like I'm going to have to do quests with him. Sorry. I think all of the other characters don't really like him. <laughs> Opinions on the Collector. Dude's creepy. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, they don't like him that much. Alright, so. I could go to another Hollowed Halls, but I think we've seen what we need to see about this. If, if I do more coverage of that kind of dungeon crawl, I think I'm going to come back uh, with a proper crew. My big problem at the moment is, you know, this inn is nice, but like the upper floor that's supposed to be kind of a nice eatery area or something. Yeah, that's where we put all of our forges. This is where... This is not a nice looking house anymore. We kind of scuffed it in a bad way. Huh. Actually didn't notice this ladder in the corner. I didn't exactly spend a whole lot of time here. 
I love these elements, these... Oh, it's like a creepy prison. Oh, well, one of my friends found this already. Uh, yeah, weird creepy prison attic thing. Eh, maybe not prison. But... I want to make my own house. Or, at the very least, I want to make one that is not currently Craft Town. So I think I'm going to have to go do that. So, I guess, uh, let's engage in a little bit of our own HGTV. Find a new place that looks nice and make it look nicer. Because, obviously, the, these things have been crumbling into ruin for who knows how long. And I might as well get uh, my decor on. Alright, so now that I've... Now that I've kind of gathered a bunch of stuff in preparation for this, let's let's find a good spot for a house. I like spaces that are genuinely up high, have access to some kind of neat sites, and maybe a mixture of biomes. I saw this ridge, and I don't seem to see a whole lot of, like, structures here, which is good. I think we want to get onto that central one. I'm going to build kind of like a wizard's tower castle thing over here. Let's make sure we have we have just enough for active altars. So it's not the most like central location. I don't even know what's on this area, but it's a nice area. Uh, well, it's a nice location. It's kind of in the middle of the forest. I love these big trees here. That's the wrong menu. There's some kind of, oh, there's a flame shrine down there, but we don't have any warp points kind of nearby. I guess we do have the ancient spire that I just came from. But that's vaguely fine. And this gets me access to aye, an elixir well I haven't cleared yet and some other things. Sure, why not? And also looks like copper. Not that I desperately need a whole lot of copper. So, big one is, wow, there's actually a lot of copper in here. I want to get... On top of this thing. Unfortunately, I forgot how to cancel my flight. <laughs> this is going to take another shot. But I think I can do it this time, if I do it correctly, and cancel it at just the right time. Nope, this ain't it. We are going east. Because it's that tree right there dead ahead. All I have to do, no, maybe I do go for this hilltop over here. It's just as just as tall, but considerably easier to walk back up. Yeah, let's do that. I'll probably still want to get a bunch of stairs, but for now, it's mostly more important for me to just have a place that I can reach. So next order of business is I need to, well, you know what? We've got a bunch of these hollowed halls blocks. I can use those to level my environment really quickly. Oh, needs building area. Well, that's fine, actually. We're gonna... We're going to very quickly... How do I... There we go. I don't have a flame shrine on me, but I have... Or flame altar, but I do have just enough stone that I can build one. So let's put away some of these chests, and let's take a look at this. Whoa, this zoomed out really far? But yeah, this seems, this seems like a reasonable-ish base. How do I get it into the ground like I did? There we go. Eh, no, let's have it go up a little bit. Cool. Okay, and these are, these are tiny. Give me a second. Okay, so we've got a couple of different shapes that I can work with. Alt more shapes, build materials. Why can I not use my hull at all? I have no idea. All right, well, here's the answer. We are going to just summon Cawthorn the Carpenter. And we're going to take a look at what we can build here. So we've got a bunch of different blocks that we can work with. Beds, tables, fireplaces, chairs, bathroom, bathrooms, benches, illumination, so all sorts of lighting. And oh, some paintings too. Neat. Uh, let's see, banners. We really haven't touched too much of the crafting in uh, our multiplayer section. We just made, or we looted that in. Secret doors, so secret bookshelf doors. Red marble door. Okay. Some of these look like they're going to be a lot of fun to play around with. Let's see, improved water well. So a lot of these are things that I'm going to have to make. Oh, but you know what? The carpenter isn't the dude for the job here. We need, we need a, uh, oops. We need a crafting bench. Workbench. I need string. 
Nope, that ain't it. Okay, plant fiber should give me what I need. Just have to get some more. No, we've got a couple of benches. I'm gonna have to, oh gosh, can I unsummon dudes? I have no idea. All right, let's just go here. What do we got? So he gets us our furniture. The crafting or the workbench gets us all of our, our different blocks that we can work with. So we've got bone blocks, bronze blocks, which look cool, but maybe a little bit too complex for me. Maybe as an accent, but not as a main thing. Castle wall stone blocks, so nice and basic. Copper block, that actually looks kind of ghoulish and creepy. Uh, Desert city wall, fancy stone block, looks smooth. Not sure if I like it. Half timbered. Uh, Shell keeps saying I'm a big fan of uh, Tudor houses. And this very much would get the vibe. Highly polished stone block. Iron block, which once again looks like a torture device. Limestone block, yeah, but a little too deserty. Blue luminescent block. What? Warm white luminescent block. Metal block. Not quite torture device. Looks like you're imprisoning something within. Mycelium overgrown block. Palm wood block. Pretty. Refined sandstone, refined stone, refined wood, regular sandstone, regular stone, roughly cut stone, flint stone, sandstone, rough stone, just wood, shroud wood, tarred wood, weathered, hollowed halls blocks, and well blocks. I like the hollowed halls blocks. I already have them though. Equipable building materials. I'll have to see how this works. The other thing is we only have so many roof blocks, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, because if we only have so many roof tiles, we kind of want the rest of the house to match. So I don't know if I'm going to go full majestic base here. I think we want somewhere between these stone shingle roofs. Yeah. Why don't we make just kind of a nice little Tudor wizard's tower thing? I was really hoping I could do the ectoplasm. That said, I might... I might sneak in an amount of the blue luminescent block so we don't have to worry about like illumination per se. And maybe some maybe some bronze just for the heck of it. Uh, it might be one of those where I just need to go looking to find the correct recipe for these blocks, but I don't know. Okay, so I've got a bunch of stuff. And what do we do? I guess first and foremost, let's take a look at the hollowed halls blocks. They're pretty, but they might actually just be too excessive for what I kind of want to make here. Ooh, nice part is, makes a little indentation. I might have to change my... That's almost a little too bright. I think I'm going to change my my dodge key. Okay, so what is, what is my dodge? Action, action bar slot, use evade. Let's just... Let's just delete that one. Okay. Because I can still dodge with my mouse button, and that's probably a bit cleaner. This way I can actually go back to building. Let's remove this. So regular stone block is a little bright. Blue luminescent block. <laughs> yeah, if one's a little bright, that one is pushing it. Again, a little bright doesn't look bad, but maybe a little bit too decorative. Okay. Actually... The bronze looks really nice. I think I'm still going to use it as an accent, though. The copper block look like. Also, not like a torture device. Why, do, why does the preview make it look horrifying? I have no idea. All right, we have fancy stone block. Oh, it's... That's stone? Oh, it's stone on the side. It's timbered on the top. I don't care too deeply about that. Where's my... Oh. I need more blocks. Okay, so now that we've got a couple more, let's take a look. Uh, should be at the bottom. Okay, so we've got tarred wood. Uh, a little log cabin-y for me. Weathered stone. You know, I'm beginning to suspect that stone in general is actually a lot lighter than I'd like it to be. For whatever reason, I like dark floors. It's not terrible, but honestly, the uh, the weathered stone currently is the winner. Let's take a look at the castle stone. Okay, I like the idea of it, but I also kind of don't. Ooh, never mind, we got a winner. 
the it is the palm wood block has this really nice i think it's parquet or no it's not quite parquet and holy smokes i'm gonna need a lot of this stuff uh but yeah it's got this kind of nice uh rotating square pattern good for a basement so actually we're gonna tear it up for now that's gonna be my second floor this is kind of my hmm is this well i guess it's got to be my entryway uh so do we want to just do the weathered stone blocks? Yeah, it just has kind of a nice like, this is the ground floor basement entry area. Unfortunately, I'm going to need an absolutely an absurd amount of blocks to do this. Okay, so I've placed the basement. He's just gonna live in the floor for a bit. Uh, You know, I'm gonna pick this up and I'm just gonna move it closer to the flame altar for the moment. Uh, let's see, how do I, how do I even get to my inventory here? We're a little packed in. I've been building a lot of blocks uh, with the express purpose of things. So we've got a couple of options here. I still have this palm wood block. Uh, let's see, is there a way I can get these out? Yes. How do we want to do this? Because my one meter problem is I've made a structure that is, eh, it's not that big. It's pretty big, but it's not heinously so. This is kind of our entryway. It's not the best. Um, it's even a bit messy. But it's a big square, and I can use that to kind of build out here. I don't know if I'm going to want an entry entryway, though. So let's... We don't want Balthazar. Get out of here. We want Cawthorn. So we're going to want a couple of things. He doesn't. He doesn't make wall blocks for us, but he does make doors which is important because okay some of these are going to be expensive i'm going to have to go get some other stuff from the home base so he makes round wooden window window frames i like the rounded stuff that's actually kind of nice looking i'm not sure how much i want this as my entryway i'm digging the iron double door though i'm afraid it's not going to match the surrounds whereas this this probably would it might be one of those where we actually have to come back and, and make like a handful of these uh, and see how they match the house. Because like this one's going to ma match like a much more wooden setup, whatnot. I haven't exactly built a whole lot of houses in, in video games, and so there's kind of that inherent level of like, what the heck am I doing, man? Uh, I made like a really nice-ish thing once, and I was like, yeah, that was good enough for me. It took a while. And ooh. so this is a palm wood block. Let's just take a look at walls. So once again, the palm wood block is actually kind of impressing me. I think that's good for an interior wall, though. Oh, right. We can also get windows, which we're probably going to want. So we have the castle wall blocks. The problem is the castle wall blocks come uh, naturally overgrown. Rough cut, probably too rough for me. Tarred wood, again, too log cabin. Weathered stone block, good, but we've already used it. So what about these? It's maybe a little overdone, but it's not terrible looking. What about the well blocks? Yeah, if I want to look like I'm a crypt keeper. Otherwise, we do have this. Maybe what I do is I go back home and look. I love that pattern, but that needs to be for accents or something. Because otherwise it's not going to work. I'm liking the palm wood block way too much. So I should figure that out. But yeah, let's let's go look at the, the inn that we started at. Because I'm not trying to replicate the place. However, uh, there is kind of that feeling of like... They did a really good job designing these structures in this game. So this all looks to be rough cut stone or some, something to that extent. So the basement's pretty... Actually, the whole place is. Now that I'm looking at it, they, they really just used one type of stone kind of the entire way through. Not quite sure what's going on with these, like, layers and if I'm going to be able to replicate it. And then once you get up to the second floor, that's when they start using the, or oh, whatever these blocks are called. The Great Effect. 
but they still have stone up and down one side. But like I said, I don't exactly want to replicate them, but this is kind of my vibe. So let's do it, but with kind of our own materials and some guesswork. I should probably just have like a screenshot, but whatever. Okay, so rough stone make things work. So I might as well kind of status report us right now. So I ran into a bit of a problem. Namely, I wanted to have kind of this like floor section here. I guess what a mmm. I know what I can do. So I was originally gonna have kind of th that floor be too tall. Uh or too like floors tall. But that kind of sucks because it just becomes tall and meaningless. There's not much to do there, and it's not it's not a very cozy space, it's just meaninglessly tall. Uh, which doesn't feel very good. So we're gonna we're gonna go back down a floor. And we're just gonna close things off. We're gonna have kind of the entry area with the the flame shrine with a, like a way out. And then also uh kind of a door into the crafting area. So the one immediate problem that I'm looking at is this stone. It carries through, and I don't like that. So one thing I did find that I can do is nope. If we go back up here, I can remove this one tile at a time. Awkward as it is. But on the flip side, we can make this seamless. So I should be able to put in, yeah. We should be able to put these in, clear it up nice and somewhat comfortably. I think for now though, oh wait, hold up. Maybe I can do this faster. I cannot, okay. Well at the very least I can fill these gaps in faster, but I'm not going to be able to get rid of the, um, the awkward wall tops. Okay. I'm gonna have to leave probably an amount of this open. Let's try half of it. Oh yeah, that's plenty of clearance. So what do we think? Full amount? Yeah, wow. So we only need we only need one tile spot open. And we can still fit our heads through. Trying to create proper clearance for headspace in these games has given me so many... I'm not going to call it nightmares in other games because it's really not that big of a deal. But there's still kind of that feeling of like, oh, this sucks. And so just having everything be... Having the character be just short enough that it isn't a problem is nice. Okay, so option A... I think I just deleted the wall. Take a look. Yaw. I deleted the wall and replaced it with junk. <sighs> so I don't I don't think there's an easy way for me to remove the tops of these walls without going tile by tile. Hopefully that's something that maybe gets added at a later date. I'd love to be able to do a click and drag too, but at least we can fill the gaps really easily. And this might be something that I come back through later and like redo parts of the floor with like a different design to create kind of like a, a manual framing element. It might not be a bad idea, but it's definitely the kind of thing that I'm going to leave for later. The other option I'd have next time is to actually just extend the staircase up by like half a floor. Um, and just use foundation instead. So you just wouldn't see any of this stuff. But I'm already like halfway committed to this. So I'm just going to stick with it regardless of the inefficiencies. So the other thing we should probably do is get back down here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it messed up the ceilings too much. Fine stone block. Oh, I'm going to have to redo this, aren't I? No. Okay, so interesting note. 
if I put the walls in afterwards, it doesn't cause this problem. So that's good to know. Next order of business, do we do refined stone block once again for the wall space? I think so. The problem is it's almost too fancy, is the issue. So I've cleaned up a little bit. We've got some basic crafting stuff in here, but this area is going to need to get expanded. The main problem is it's dark as hell. So that's the iron lantern. This is the firefly lantern. I think I like the amb ambience better of the iron versus the firefly. So let's, let's just get some iron lamps up in here. Unfortunately, I think we're going to need a lot of them to be able to actually see what I'm doing long term. And this room might always be a little dark unless I want to do some drastic measures. Which I don't. Let's see. I made a whole bunch of everything. I guess it's not that bad. Uh, let's see. Is that lined up? Problem is, there's no easy way of doing syner uh, symmetry here. And frankly, I think this is too much. I think we're going to need some, like, hanging lamps or something. So I'll have to poke at that a little bit. I like it on the corners. This looks nice. Kind of. It looks nice enough. But we need something else. Something like... I don't know. Uh, let's see. So we've got this chandelier, but it's kind of ugly. Fireflies. We do have, like, braziers and whatnot. There's just the lamps. There's the standing lanterns. And then there's the hanging iron, iron chandeliers. Uh, I'll go get more. Okay, so next consideration, uh, I'm going to put the lighting to the side for a moment. What we need right now really is to figure out where did these things go. So I'm going to put the smelter right next to the forge. How close? That's eh, probably close enough. Uh, let's see. Then we're going to need the table saw. We've got the drying rack. No, let's get the table saw down. I think it's the only thing that the leather worker needs. Where is the... I have no idea the orientation on this one. We're going to put these here. We'll give it a little, little bit more space. Do we want to... Let's pick this up. And give it a little bit more room too. We just kind of want to have all of this stuff spread out a little bit. But not over, over much. These... Is the correct size size for the or side for the loom side for the loom? I mean, I didn't actually check how many of these I need, so I just built one of everything. Uh, let's see, we've also got the kiln. So there's like one more. Oh, the spinning wheel. Okay, but let's let's get the charcoal kiln down and the kiln down because I'm gonna need. Vaguely one of every single one of these structures. That one's in the wall a little bit. Maybe that's fine. As long as it's not poking through. They both are. Okay, so let's not do that. So I've cleared out the area a little bit. It's kind of just a giant industrial line with every single crafting structure I could find. It's a little dim in this corner, which is something I should probably work on. Do we have any more? Yeah, we've we've got a couple more of these. Just gonna put one like back here. Yeah. All right. Looks like it is. So we've got a reasonably well lit kind of basement crafty zone. It's not perfect, but it's enough. Next order of business, though, I think is where's my where'd my crafting hammer to go? Did I just exile it? I did. Leave it on tile one. So what I need to do is I need to figure out some kind of set up here. Uh, let's see. That's that's too big. Yeah, there's terrain. Wait, can you do terrain with this? What? No. 
That's still too big. What I want is something like this. What's that do? Okay. This is a little silly. But one thing I absolutely kind of hated about our multiplayer session, and you saw it earlier, the massive, completely wasteful stack of treasure chests. It wasn't bad, but it felt bad using it. And I didn't like that. Yeah, you know what? This works. I'll put some, like, hollowed blocks along the top or something just to frame it a little bit better. But we're just going to make a bunch of kind of individual vault slots. Uh, I'll fix that later. Yeah, we're just going to make a bunch of individual little vault slots here that all of my crafting, or all of my crafting, all of my giant magic chests will be able to live in. Oh, and that's perfect. We have just enough space for way more chests than I actually own, but it's enough that I can get going for now. So this way, there is also the possibility that I could like recess them a little bit. But I think I don't want that. Because I really have to get my face up in there if I want to interact with them or move them. And that doesn't that doesn't feel good to me. There might be gold blocks in this game. If there are, I have not found them yet. Okay, so let's let's frame this a little bit better and then call it a day. Uh, I might even want to look into some kind of like pillory things. Uh, let's see. Well, do we want to go all the way up to the top? Hollow Hall's blocks. I'm just going to leave that for now, I suppose. Or actually, you know what I could do? Even more conveniently than this, since I need to fix up this floor, let's just rip up the floor and build this. Let's give this a quick look. Oh yeah, that looks nice. If I had a little bit more time, well, I kind of do. What I can do is go back up to this. And just kind of extend this, at least here. Kind of gives it a nice border. Whoops. That's very much not what I wanted wanted to do. Yeah, I think kind of no matter what, I'm going to be a little stuck here. So. Let's, let's just go back. There's a foundation tile. There we go. Nope. Whoop. That is super. Oh, it's not refined stone block. Is it weathered? Oh, it's weathered. That was the issue. Okay, cool. I think I'm just going to leave it at like that. We'll, we'll go set this up on the other side. I could do more. More like kind of edge work but that's going to take an inordinate amount of time and I'm pretty sure this video is already going to be quite long. So why don't we speed up the process a little bit? I've put down kind of the more extensive stuff. Now it's uh, actually finishing that main room which is going to take some time in and of itself. Oh. Okay. So let's let's uh, catch up to where I'm at just so I can update everyone well, where I'm at. So, I hmm, should probably take another look at this one. Just a little bit. So, one of my goals here is to kind of have a nice little, like, lofty area. It's not the smoothest to get up here, is the one downside that I, I very much have built this. Oh, come on. Work with me here. There it is. I have to move that. There we go. So I've built this kind of uh, ladder system to to get up into the loft. It doesn't look that bad. Uh, I think I'm going to just put a 
hull them on each corner just to make it look somewhat tidy. Otherwise, it's just like a floating ladder and a platform, which, yeah, I don't know. I think this looks fine. It's a little out of place, but it gets it gets the job done, gets us up into this little attic area. And then we've got this kind of just big, open, almost pavilion area. I was thinking of adding a deck to it. It's very bright, almost maybe too bright is the, the one fear. Uh, but I like a lot of natural lighting. We'll have to figure out some, some interior lighting at some point. I could just go with more of these, but I think maybe this is one of those where I, I poke around with the Firefly Lanterns. I'll put one up there. Just just right there. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe I just stick with the Iron Lantern, seeing as I've used so many of them at this point. At least up here. It's not a terrible idea. Can I... Oh. Uh, maybe we, we don't want to snap these. It'd be nice if there was kind of like different grid levels that you could specifically enable. But this is fine. I can kind of guesstimate it. If it's slightly off, it's slightly off. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to figure out what I put up here. I don't know. Probably a character's bedroom more than anything else. Uh, just a place to sleep, place to rest, a uh, place to pass the time. This area is a little bit more dubious. Because to some degree, we've got kind of the staircase. We've got that on opposite corners. But I think that gives us the most amount of space. I was thinking what I do is uh, go back down here. Put a patio kind of around the entire side. I was really hoping they would have had diagonal tiles. And I think that's going to remain my like number one wish list item for this game. Is some like diagonal or rounded... Uh, Border tiles, if that makes sense. So it's specifically like here, if it was just a diagonal cutoff, I could kind of pixel art it if I really wanted to uh, by using the singleton tiles, but I don't. So instead, we're just going to do something like this and we'll look into whether or not I can build a railing. We've seen fences. No, there are definitely railings in this game. I'll have to figure out how to place them down. But this way we have kind of this nice open, open setup. It's actually, mm, you know what? Let's take a look at this. It feels like I need to extend the roof here. It cuts off some of it, but currently it's too, too much of a raw edge with how it's currently set up. And plus side, I can do something like this. Just keep kind of stacking this in layers and we can go upstairs Yeah, we can go back upstairs and extend that so it's kind of a, an upper platform area, which seems like it could be kind of convenient. We don't really need this area as a launch platform because I have the tower nearby, but eh. I don't want to come back through and add some pillars to these things. But on the plus side... Oh, actually, that just adds this. Oh. So, because I don't need to add a platform here. I could. It's an option. But I'm actually perfectly fine with this. Because this kind of gives me an area where I can walk out onto my roof. And potentially get all the way up here. Huh. That is an interesting conjoint, uh, conjoined shingle. At a later date, I'll probably come back, chop the top off, maybe make it a little flatter or something. Uh, just so I could potentially use this area as kind of a... Well, I don't even know. I don't I don't know what I use the upper area for. And that's genuinely true of like a lot of this is like, what do I use all this space for? It's massive. Let's see. I think rather than trying to overlight it too much, I think we're just going to leave this area mostly for... Mostly naturally lit during the day. Uh, just give us a couple of these hanging iron lanterns since I have so many of them. In each corner just so I'll be able to see what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. There we go. It looks mostly nice.
That one's slightly too high. I didn't pick it up. There we go. There we go. Oh, you know how I said that I have this area be lit naturally? It uh did not work. Okay, next order of business. What else do we have? Because we have banners, miscellaneous, miscellaneous, iron gate, barrels, crates, doors, covered shelves, dishes, clutter, fences. Looks like it can only make stone fences, though. I tried messing around with secret doors and I cannot figure that out. So that's something I'll have to work on at a later date. Uh, let's see. And then at some point we should also look into tables. So maybe I'll do that. Spend the night. Make some really nice tables. I think I might just do like the banquet table and a bunch of chairs around it. Let's finish this up. We don't have much left. Is this the best house I will ever make in a video game? No. Maybe? I don't know. I... Is one of those where I reserve the right to come back to this at a later date. Once they've added even more parts and make this house look really swank. Like already a lot of the pieces look beautiful and I can't wait to play around with them some more. Eh, that doesn't go off the edge too much. Uh, I can't wait to play around with them some more. Uh, there's a couple of pieces I'm missing that I'm really jonesing for specifically like diagonal blocks are probably going to be my my big like oh man yeah this is this is when it's really time for me to get to work uh because i love the idea of having these be kind of diag diagonal ish uh so i guess first and foremost i have a bunch of railings now they're stone railings so i'm not entirely sure if they're perfect but yeah, they don't quite connect but at least I'm not going to be falling off the edge here. I'm going to leave the area. Ooh. Stymed. Uh, you know, mm, how do we want to do this? You know what? I'll just leave it, leave it as is. Uh, yeah, I, I, I could put like a vase or some other decorative element here. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, but I would love to have like kind of tileable. Ooh, that might be. That might be too much. Pick that one up. Because I think we want it to be over one. There we go. Yeah, because we can do this. Oh. Actually, it is tileable. It just doesn't look like it's tileable. So I think it still ends up with the same gap, but it's better than it was. Let's just pick a couple of these up and see what I can do with it. Because I might be able to make this a little tighter. I didn't like the gaps between them, but since they, they do overlay, overlap, we at least have some level of leeway of like what I can put and where. Yeah, this is kind of what I was a little bit afraid of. And I mean, I could always put something here. I think it's better to have the gap near the pillar, though, because I'm already going to leave that open. So it's already kind of like, yeah, it's fine. As opposed to as opposed to the alternative. So put it right here. So I think it's actually roughly the same gap that I left on the other side. It's just this way I can squeeze them a little bit better together. So they look really tidy because yeah, these these gaps. These gaps are too gap ish. There we go. Yeah, this way nobody's going to be falling off these plot these these kind of well this balcony. Unless, of course, that's exactly what they want to do, at which point I cannot stop them. And also, like, wingsuits and gliders are built into the game, so even if you do fall off, uh, it's just kind of an awkward walk back up. Or you teleport, because, you know, magic. My only hope is that I have enough of these to wrap around the entire thing. I also have a lot of other furniture kind of prepped and ready to go, so we'll try and get to... Oh, oh. I can actually overlap more than I thought. So. Let's me. There we go. Okay, cool. So except for this corner piece, we're fine. And I can go back and close that the gaps on that one side. I think it makes the... Uh, whoops. I think it does make the... Tiles, like, just a little thicker. But 
it at least looks nice and clean. Yeah, this like looks nice. It's almost kind of uh oh shoot. I lack the proper language to describe this building that I've crafted. Uh I keep wanting to well, I don't know. Uh I keep wanting to call it gazebo spec, but I know that's not it. Because it's a little bit more than a, a gazebo. Uh pagoda? I guess it's kind of pagoda-ish. I was gonna go for like a, a Tudor style, and then I just could not figure out how to swing it. I think maybe my next house I'll go for it. I think my one problem is I made it too big. Lot of floor space, lot of uh, ground coverage. And I think that was actually like a complete mistake on my end. I should have absolutely... Uh, I should have absolutely uh, given myself a little bit more room. Or a little bit less room, really. Because uh, this is huge. It's nice. Uh, but what do I put here? Well, that's a question, isn't it? Uh, so I've got a couple of big tables. Uh, we got some benches. We got a palm wood banquet table, a palm table, and then we have got a bunch of stone banquet tables. Let's. How big are they? Oh, they, these are these are not that big. I was, I was expecting something, you know, positively massive. Because my problem is, to some degree, like, what do I do? Do I just make this entire place look like uh, one of those picnic spots at uh, at like a um, at a park? I mean, I suppose so. It's not that terrible. It just... It's too huge and I don't know what to do with it. Unless I do. We do have some silly options. I think my wife is laughing at me on the side. What is the ladder? Oh, the ladder, the ladder goes upstairs. That's where my character sleeps, question mark. But yeah, let's let's do something like this. I'm gonna wall off kind of this entire interior section. Heck, if I know what I'm gonna put into it, um, does mean I need to pick up this lantern. However, it kind of sections off the room a little bit more, so it doesn't have exactly that uh, people go here for picnics vibe. And mm, I could always like once I figure out, yeah. I think that'll be it. Once I figure out how to make the secret doors, uh, though I think we need some more secret door tiles, I might want to have like a book bookshelf here that moves to the side that lets me in. Something like that. I guess here, let's let's front and center this. Broke something on the floor again. It's probably going to be expected considering I goofed everything. Yeah, the, the one problem is you can tell exactly where the door frames are with this setup. <laughs> Not much of a secret door if you've got, you know, a door frame around it. it again, I'll have to figure out their, their logic. Shall also... This is just backseat architecture. Uh, let's see. She wants me to wall off the floor hole. I can only do so much. There we go. Yeah, we absolutely should have this kind of nice and tidy. Do we extend this? Yeah, we'll extend that one more. There we go. So it's not quite as awkward. Hi, Balthazar. Uh, let's see. So what do we do now? Now that I've got this. So we've got the little slightly awkward ladder up. This might be something that I move. I don't know. I think I'll leave it there for the time being. So where do we put my big banquet table? Oh yeah, do we want to do the palm table instead? You know what? I'll do the palm table instead. The stone tables were kind of nice. I don't know. What fits the vibe better? Because I think the palm table is almost too ornate for what I'm trying to do. The stone ones... Maybe a little little on the rustic side, but not terribly so. Okay, let's let's give ourselves a handful of chairs. No. 
Well, actually, we could do six. Somebody's gonna have that really awkward experience of having their back up against the pillar and oh, wait, no, 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 no. There we go. It doesn't line up perfectly, but it's fine. Next time I will have a assistant who can do this better than I. Cause I am I'm kind of into interior decoration, but I think I get impatient. After a certain point I want to just go like Well, adventuring is the real answer. And so it throws me off to no end. There we go. Do we almost want to have, you know what, symmetry's sake, I'm not going to do this for every section. But I think I'm actually going to extend the pillars down here. That way it's not super awkward and gives me a better space to put this lamp. I could also, like, do some cross beams, get, like, a chandelier directly above. But I think this is fine for now. I don't think I'm go going to do more than this. I guess I could keep going. Like, it's one of those, how much, how much is too much when it comes to putting pillars down in one of these? Oop. And I'm also not sure where I want to put this one. Here? Like, do we need these? No. That starts getting in the way. I think leaving it here so it's a little bit more symmetrical is nice. These two, I don't think we're going to want to mirror or match. Or anything of the sort. The other thing I could do, and I guess I haven't looked at it. What if I had some bronze up in here? There's an... Oh. What is... What is this? Oh. Oh, interesting. Is that how I get in the corner? N Cause I was hoping I could get get the bronze up in here just a little bit. Cause I liked the look of it. Okay, that yeah, that there we go. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be the furnishing guy. I think I'm just... I'm going to architecture myself a halfway passable building. And then I think I will call it a home. And I will come back at a later date and maybe furnish it some more once we got even more pieces to play with. Uh, or maybe an assistant to decorate it for me as I add, like, other floors and stuff. Because, yeah, interior design? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not even sure if architecture is my specialty. As a kid, I really wanted to be an architect. But I think that's mostly because I played with the Legos a lot. And I was like, yeah, this is a... They're the same thing, right? Which like, I have no idea. I've never actually done much for architecture. I like that little bit of bronze. That actually... That looks nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with it beyond, but... I just want to take a look at the bronze staircase for a bit. It, yeah, I mean, it's not that bad. But I, I think just having it as a little bit there... Looks quite nice. Okay. Shell really wants me to replace the ladder with a staircase. I think I'm going to leave that for now. I think I want some more pieces before I really get to messing around with that sort of thing. However, we do have a bit of a support issue that I do want to fix. Uh, let's, let's do something other than this. Weathered stone block. I think it should be... I mean, we could do this. How does that look? Nah, that's too much. How about that? Nah, it doesn't match in the slightest. Like, the unfortunate part about a lot of this is a considerable amount of my stone. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to go with the usual refined. Yeah, a lot of the stone doesn't blend between itself. And I don't think that's necessarily a problem. But let's see. There we go. That looks nice. I could get some like other pillars and some other things in here. But I think that's fine for now. Let's just 
just not fall off my house. I could get some scaffolding here, but eh. Uh, let's see. Can I? No, that ain't going to do it. Let's just put it here. Beans. Okay, that actually did go to the right location. Oh. Okay, uh, you know what I'm going to do? We're just going to scaffold some danger floors. Maybe not that one, actually. Huh. No, it looks like it's fine. Uh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it matches. Okay, this is this is a little lower. So I can actually get in here. I don't know, something about structural stability and me. I think I've played too many games where your your stuff can just like topple into the void because you weren't careful. Though, big plus. I adore the fact that I don't have to actually worry about structural su support systems here. Like, that's fine, but I find it's I find it to be kind of fiddly more than anything else. And this means at some point I could make an obstacle course in this game. I don't think I'm going to. Um, but the idea of potentially having a bunch of space platforms all over the place to have like a really nice obstacle course sounds fun to me. Okay. Was that firefly shell? What about flies? But like a creature? I don't know. Shell is seeing things. Okay, regular stone block. I think it was weathered stone blocks were the floor. Because here's the thing. I think I'd like to do this. It's a little silly. But I did kind of talk about this lightly. And we might still want to go back into my structure at some point. Let's see. There we go. I don't want these to be touching the cliff face too much. Uh, mm, I think we might just have to accept, accept that it's not going to work on this one. That's fine. Whoop. There we go. I like the idea of extending the foundations down. If they ever have like a full creative mode, I think I would 100% do it where I um I actually extend these these like stone supports all the way down into the cliff below. I guess that that's fine. This is kind of like a hey, this this is uh Kind of where my base is, but then also, um... Oh, nope, 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 nope. Well... Ah! Uh, it's so much harder with the block just floating in my hand. It's fine, we can get to it on this side. I love... Nope. Hmm. I should put away my builder's hammer when I'm trying to do this, at the very least. Yeah, those, those little space platforms I put down as scaffolding uh, probably should have been deleting them as I was passing through, but whoops a do. Anyway. Ah. Yeah. Running jump. There we go. Nope. No wingsuit. Wing oh, there's the flies. Oh, the flies are from the beehive inside my base. That's what they're from. I should probably move them outside because, you know, bees and indoors probably don't mix. I mean, what the heck are they going to pollinate? Okay, now before I kill myself, let's put this away. Uh, you know what? Farewell. <laughs> I hit the tree. Uh, I am going to have to work on the approach to this base. I think it looks cool. And we'll do a flyby before we're done. Uh, let's see. Don't alt-tab the game. I 
think it's fine for now. There's there's stuff to do. So like this this could be a small stairwell or like a, a hidden nook or I'm thinking like a little secret reading library or something. Just fill it with bookshelves. Is that a thing that I can do? Are there bookshelves? There's shelves. There are no bookshelves. So the way the game normally works is that you put the books on them. I really, really hope they add a version where the books come pre-placed because I do not have time to place that many books as much as I'd like to. Uh, otherwise, we could have it as like the art, the art nook, and it is just filled with only scabbard on one leg. You know what? Maybe we do that. Yeah, I think this is perfect. I could have done more with this, but I think this is the vibes I was going for for my creepy scabbard on one leg art room. I was almost tempted to actually just not have a door anymore and just kind of end this video with me in a weird, weird, creepy room with nothing else. I could put this window down, block my way out. No, we'll leave that for later. Anyway, I guess before I go too much further, let's let's see what my house looks like from a distance. We'll fly up to it. Do a quick overview of everything that I added so far. Uh, let's see if I can actually find my house. Uh, set waypoint. There we go. And then we can head onwards. It. Hmm. It almost looks like kind of a pyramid. Okay, no, it actually looks a lot nicer once you, once it loads in a little bit more. I think the lower floor is a problem. I would like to expand it more. I uh, yes, that is unironically. I've been hoping that I would be just the right height that I could do that. It's part of the reason why I picked this location. I could have gone elsewhere. Uh, and maybe the next time I play this, I make like an underground base. My main thing is I wouldn't be able to see anything in that case. But like a hobbit hole would be kind of cool. Just like a, a door in the hill with like a little bit of a rooftop. And then it just extends backwards and is kind of cozy. But for effectively, I'm almost going to say it's like a firewatch tower. It looks good as far as my capabilities as a fantasy medieval fantasy architect goes. Could I do better? Oh, yeah. But, ooh, yeah, sunset. Could I do better? Yeah, but it's going to take a long time and a lot more parts, which I'm pretty sure are on the way. Uh, Enshrouded, uh, yeah, bit my tongue. Enshrouded has only just begun as a game. It came out a couple months ago, and I've had an absolute blast with it so far. Uh, zooming around with friends, clearing dungeons, fighting monsters, clearing objectives, all that stuff has been nothing short of a joy. And the combat system, the character building, all of that stuff, it, it just feels so good. And it seems like they got quite a lot of uh, launch support and seems to they seem to still be getting a lot of support from the community. And so it's kind of one of those where, okay, this might be too dark for me. Let's get down to my creepy, creepy, creepy basement bed that I'll have to move at some point. Um, yeah, I just stuck myself in the vault while I was waiting for the rest of that house to be built. Uh, but the game's been getting a lot of support both from players and from the developers. I think it still has a little, well, I mean, it obviously has tons of content to be added. I haven't even showed this off yet over the course of this video, but I have been everywhere. I wish I could zoom this out further. I've been everywhere, more or less in the game, everything kind of up to this line and down here. That's what's in the game now. There's a little bit more on this side, and there is tons more on top that is apparently planned and so i think currently what is in the game is somewhere around like a third of the overall final map which is nothing short of wild to me and i i when i say i've been all over i have not cleared this there's all sorts of things there's iron in here that i've barely mined no i i did get an amount of mine with uh iron with my friends there's whatever like deep depths are in here like i've barely touched this area We've kind of gone through here. We cleared an amount. We haven't touched either of the sun temples. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I never touched here. Some kind of big temple looking thing on top of this. No idea how to even get up in there. And now they just added the hollow halls, which the next one's up over here. And there's one per biome. I don't even. Is there going to be like two or three more? Well, we'll have to see. 
but I'm very much looking forward to it. So before we finish this video off, uh, one last thank you to Keen Games for sponsoring this video. Uh, and I guess I might as well also mention as part of that, if you want to pick up Enshrouded now, it is available on Steam. It's been out for quite some time in early access, and it is... Uh, geez, I want to say it's 30 bucks normally, which I think is actually a fairly fair price for the game. You'll easily get that amount in, in playtime, especially if you bring some friends. Servers, I believe, go up to 16 players, um, possibly higher if you're like on a private server and you mess with the settings, but it's been pretty solid. And let's see, what else is there to say? Not too much. I, I'm very much looking forward to future patches. I'll probably come back to this in a couple months or a year or something like that, build an even nicer house, probably with Shell's assistance, and we'll do some adventuring too, because I'm sure there's going to be all sorts of stuff. Well, I'm sure there's still all sorts of stuff I haven't found yet, but all sorts of stuff that is added that'll be even more fun to play with once it's done. But for now, at least, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I got tons to check out and show off. Well, with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, wait. How could I end this video here? What am I doing? I gotta go back. I can't... I can't be here. Where is it? Where is it? It's not letting me... Eh. There it is. Perfect. Alright. It's not the right material type. Uh, Nope, that's the wrong one. Uh... It'll have to do. Ah, it's better.